everyone and welcome to Cassidy's Craft Corner. In this video I wanted to show you the materials and supplies that I mostly use in all my crafting and I definitely recommend them. But before we get to that I wanted to ask you a question. And the question is what name should I change my channel? Yes, I've been thinking about changing my name to my channel. Right now it's Cassidy's Craft Corner as you can tell. Um, you can also comment below if you want me to keep this name as well. Um, but if you don't, you can also comment below what names you think of. So another one I was thinking about changing my channel to was Crafting with Cassidy. And you can agree with me in the comments below to change it or not. But I've been thinking about it um, lately. So yeah, you can comment below and give me more options to choose from. So let's get started in this video and I hope you enjoy! The first supply that I have is masking tape. So I always have this on hand in my craft area. This one is by Scotch, but you can get any company that you have at your local craft store. And yeah, I use this all the time and it's a great thing to have. The next thing is my favorite glue, which is Scotch Quick Drying Adhesive Glue. I use this for most of my crafts, and I think it's just the, one of the best glues ever. And uh, the next uh, thing with the glue is using a safety pin, just in case. I always have this on hand, and all you do is open up the safety pin if your glue cannot come out of the bottle, and you just stick it to, in the bottle to make a hole for the glue to come out. Another tip with your glues is to always store your glue bottles upside down so the glue will always be there for you. Up next is my bin of scraps. Yes, I have this on, on my craft table because I always need some inspiration for what to use on my collages. So I always put all my paper scraps, ribbon, fabric scraps, anything really, and put it in this bin so I always have it to use later. This bin got a little full, so I'm thinking about making another one too. All right, and then next is basic stencils. I just have this basic stencil, which is just circles, triangles, shapes, really. And then the next one is what I've been using lately is a Christmas stencil. And since it's Christmas time, and yeah, that's my favorite stencil right now. The next stencil is Chevron Stripes. And the next one is Arrows and Hearts. The next thing is very obvious to have, it's scissors. Yes, of course you need scissors. And my favorite is by Fiskars and they're non-stick scissors. They look really small, but the small ones are actually one of the best ones because you have more control over cutting uh, paper. And there is my bin of tags. My cardstock tags are very handy to use in my collages. They're my favorite thing to use. You have you, you have white cardstock tags and then you have tan cardstock tags. Either one is great to use and I just love them all and there's also different sizes. And this bin, I just got around the house, and yeah, you can use anything to store your craft supplies. Mm -hmm. 
I even have some tags that I've done some are on but I haven't figured out what to do with them yet so I just stick them in the spin until I feel like doing something more to it. Next up is acrylic paints. Now you don't have to get Liquidex Basics paints but I have to say these are my favorite out of all of them. You can get cheap acrylic paints at your local craft store. These are a little bit pricey but I love them so much. They're so worth it and I only have four colors but I love them so much and I have a white, a blue, a pink and a bluish green color. The color I use the most is white. And of course, you need a paintbrush when it comes to painting. So my favorite brush is by Artist Loft. It's number eight. And I, that's my favorite brush of all time. I use it with everything and I just love it. Next must have is Mod Podge. I absolutely love this. I use it all the time and it's it's also a glue it's just in this bigger jar and i just it's amazing i love using it it looks white on the inside which it is but it also dries clear Next up is some basic tools. Uh, on the right, I have some scraper tools, which I use with Mod Podge, and other things like glitters and whatnot. And then on the left, I have sponge tools, which I also use in painting. And I also realize that less is more with these, but sometimes I don't pay attention and I put too much paint on them. So you gotta watch out for that. Now my favorite ink pad is this ink pad, which is Archival Ink by Ranger. And I, this is just jet black, um, but I also have a blue one. But I mostly use this one a lot, and I just use it all the time. And it's also smudge proof when you put it on, and it's just great when you do collages. And look at this, yes, Distress Inks. This is all my Distress Inks. I will put all of the names in the description box below because I absolutely do not have the time to list all of them right now. But I have a lot and yeah, I have all the colors of the rainbow. And of course, I love using these sponge tools for Distress Inks and they're all for a specific color ink pad. And I also use bigger sponges as well every once in a while. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.